Between 1865 and 1901, three American presidents were killed by assassins. William McKinley, James Abram Garfield, and Abraham Lincoln. In 1834, Lincoln was a bright young attorney who had been elected to the Illinois State Assembly. In 1842, he married a young woman with excellent connections named Mary Todd. In 1860, he won the Republican nomination, and he was elected to the White House at the age of 51. But nothing had prepared him for the disaster of the American Civil War. A disaster that reached a bitter climax on the fields of Gettysburg, where he gave his famous speech. We shall bind up the nation's wounds and cherish peace. That government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. On April 14, 1865, Lincoln decided to escape the pressures of the White House by attending a comedy in his box at the Ford Theater in Washington. Ulysses Grant and his wife were invited as well, but he declined, a decision that quite possibly saved his life. For an actor and former blockade runner named John Wilkes Booth had slipped into the audience. Wilkes believed Lincoln was to blame for the tragedy of the Civil War. And he was armed with a silver-plated gun, a 44 caliber Henry Dellinger. While the play was in progress, he slipped into the presidential booth. Incredibly, Lincoln's armed guard was nowhere in sight. Booth jumped on the stage with the cry, ever thus to tyrants. He then limped away with a fractured leg, since his spur had got caught in the American flag as he jumped. Lincoln was taken across the street to a boarding house. There, he died shortly after 7 a.m., just five days after the end of the Civil War. Booth fled, but was captured in a farmhouse in Virginia and killed. Suspecting a conspiracy, President Andrew Johnson ordered hundreds of arrests, among them Louis Payne, who on the same night of Lincoln's murder had attacked Secretary of State William Seward. Eight presumed conspirators were convicted and sent to the gallows on July 7, 1865.